Hey everybody, McKnight here, and in today's Miles Horizon video, we're continuing the theme of the base building and the buffs and debuffs, and we're going to be looking at what's maybe the most efficient base for the Soviet Union slash Russia. Let's have a look. Just before we get into the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, it helps me massively, and there's be a link in the description to my Twitch if you want to see me play more. So let's get into the actual base. Just before we start, just to let you know, this is accelerated. So before you look anything like this, you'll have to plan out where you're going to put each building or you can even copy this if you wish. It's totally up to you. Before I started this, I asked a question in the Auroch Digital Discord as to how people put their bases together. What, what do they prioritize? So do they prioritize um science do they prioritize launch um, reliability payload reliability and i had something i had a reply that i didn't think i would get but it turned out to be really really useful so i've taken that concept and i've tried to maximize it so the answer i got was time's the most important thing and it's the only thing you can't get from missions so you can get money science you can get all that support you can get all that from missions except time so all from this sort of area here is all build time reductions because if you reduce the time it takes to build the rocket the quicker you can get into space and get the science to progress the milestone to progress and then fingers crossed actually get to mars first so the key buildings here are the vehicle hangar the rocket test pad and the vehicle assembly building now the vehicle hangar i've got connected to the large launch pad the medium launch pad and the spacecraft assembly building for all the time reductions and or trying to reduce the cost as well as squeak out a little bit of science which i think is with the hq so then if we look at the vehicle assembly building that's connected to engineering buildings so the contractor's office the aeronautics research lab as well as the rocket test pad and then the mobile launch platform it's all very interconnected and once you've got them all connected it's it's tricky to remember which building was responsible for which but the backup generator with the small launch pad is and the test pad is also time time reduction so once you get all the sort of engineering buildings together interlinked as best as possible i think you could possibly move the small launch pad near the vehicle hangar but with the balcano cosmodrome the canyons here here and then the pond do make it a little bit difficult so bear that in mind when you're you're thinking of planning um this down here is just payload reliability i put it in here I didn't really know where to fit it. It kind of didn't really give me any bonuses anywhere else. Maybe there was a bonus here. I can't quite remember, but it was, I thought payload reliability just to help you in the missions would be the next kind of step down. So I was talking with a friend, actually. She was saying that she prioritizes um, launch reliability over payload reliability because we were discussing it because I, I felt payload reliability was more important because with the rng factor of the the mini games and if you've got a a payload that's not got a lot of uh um power to resist the um in-game events it can get a bit tricky a little bit dicey towards the end so but she was saying you can't control the launch rng so i think we both had some really good points there so that's totally up to you how you decide whether you go for payload reliability or launch reliability you can change them as needed um then up here is kind of just reliability cost reductions science so there's two percent science there for mission control there's only one mission control and one research expansion now if you that's up to you if you want more or need more or you can make more demolish them in the future when you've got a sizable lead on the opponents then that's totally up to you um, the astronaut training facility again it's needed for people so it's kind of a, it's kind of a building that has to be there 
Uh, then these buildings here, they are, I was just trying to see if I could put every single building within the, the little area, the base area, but I, I kind of struggled. So support rewards, I mean, they're good for, they're good for overall support when you complete the mission to try and push you over that threshold to get that extra monthly, uh, extra yearly funding review. Um, I mean, the astronaut pool limit, I've never had a problem needing astronaut, so that's totally, maybe, maybe you want to put mission control there, who knows? That's totally up to the individual playing. And then this here, again, it was kind of just filling space. There was, there was a setup I was trying to get last night, and I couldn't quite do it, even though I've moved all these around here, and I tried to shift, shift things just a little bit. But it, it didn't quite work, so um, I thought we'll just put that there for five percent support rewards for missions because it can come in handy for the the yearly funding review. So they're just kind of just in there. Joint missions again. If if you're challenged, if you're challenging yourself for a a joint mission run, then that could definitely be helpful. But I think the key. The key is all these buildings here to um, actually give you some reductions. So just let me show you what those reductions actually are. I've got a rocket planning to be built here. So then if we go into new design, it's just for the sake of this. Just build a quick, quick rocket like that. It tells us here that we have a... 36% reduction in build time which can be massive if you on that race to sometimes when you look at the um let me show you when you look at when you look at these milestones and you see there's like a couple of months or they've got the science they've researched it but they've not actually built it or they're planning it that could be the difference between making it a first and a second so just as we go through the actual layout of the base i'm going to make sure there's a screenshot so you can um so you know which building is which i'm going to make sure there's a little label on each building so we know which is which so we're going to start from the the hq then we've got that's connected to the vehicle hangar and then we've got research lab spacecraft assembly facility medium launch pad large launch pad water sound suppression which will improve the reliability of the launch so again we were talking about being able to control that more so you don't have to worry about um the rng of a, a rocket launch and then we have the rocket test pad the vehicle assembly building the aeronautics research lab Robotics Research Lab, Contractor's Office, Centrifuge Training. Not massively important, but it is down there. The The space plane runway is just there because who doesn't want to fly a shuttle? I think the shuttles look really good in this game, so that's why I put that there. You know, you never know when you, you might need it. Um, so then back over to this side, we have the small launch pad. The backup power generator the mobile launch platform uh, and then way way over here which isn't really part of everything but the visitor center deep space network diplomacy office so the deep space network you're probably only going to get that if you're towards the end game or sort of mid to late game or when you're really in deep if you even decide to um research it then towards the top we have the research lab, research lab expansion, space science library, mission control expansion, mission control itself, astronaut training facility, PR office, and then over in this corner we've got hall of fame, neutral buoyancy lab, and the docking training facility. I hope that that's of some help and you understand the reasoning behind why I've positioned these buildings where I have. There we go. That's a look at what I think might be the most optimal 
base for Soviet Union slash Russia in Mars Horizon. If you have any thoughts or if you know of anything that I've missed, please let me know in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like the video. It helps the channel grow hugely. Um, there'll be a link in below in the description to my Twitch if you want to see me play more. And yeah, enjoy enjoy uh, building your base with Russia slash Soviet Union. Have a good day.